Hello, so welcome to episode two of the Allotment Diaries. And first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to you know everyone who's subscribed and liked and commented on my uh, first video. Um, I checked yesterday and I've now got like over 100 subscribers, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit more work today on the composting bin. Um, I've got my new little drill bits. The drill bit is knackered. Look at that. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to do this by hand. I don't know if you can see, but there's a tiny little frog. I don't know where he's come from. Where is he? But yeah, as you can see, I've taken up all the old wood stuff. Um, it came apart really easy. It's a big metal pole there, actually. I need to get out. Um, but yeah, this is like kind of the bottom of the original compost pile. But it just looks absolutely soaking and not like compost, it looks more like just mud. Um, oops, there you go. A little uh, thingy, um, centipede. So there's going to be all sorts in there. And I don't, yeah, I don't think it's compost at all. And all this junk on top is just not doing anything. So that's kind of why I'm starting this compost bin again from scratch it's getting rid of all that um, wood and then replacing it with the compost bin that I made out of pallets but annoyingly my drill bit has broken and um, which means that I can't disassemble that even though I've only I built that up quickly yesterday um, literally just to make sure that it does all go together and it does go together really nicely but I'm only using like a couple of screws but um yeah like I said my drill bit's broken and it's too heavy for me to move on its own like all in one piece so I'm gonna have to go home get another drill bit and this is another thing that I absolutely can't wait to get some sort of shed or even just a small little storage container because what I'm finding is that um I have to keep on lugging like a bag with my drill and just like smaller bits that I don't want to leave out in the open. Like, I don't mind leaving the spade and fork or whatever. Um, but I'm finding that I'm forgetting stuff each time. So I'm having to write big to-do lists, like well to bring lists, which is just silly. So once I can actually leave stuff here, it'll be so much easier. Um, yeah. Like today I got all the way here and I um, forgot to bring some water. So then I'd go, uh, yeah, anyway. What I will show you is my little first still raised bed. What I've done with this, I've got four equal sized um, slats from the, um, take that off, don't need those there, um, from a pallet. And literally just bottled them together with corner brackets, put some cardboard down and compost and this is going to be my kind of little fruit thing. So I've got a blueberry there, then a raspberry, then two blackberries. I've got no idea if these are going to do anything. This one was half price from B&Q. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of 
keep an eye on them over the next few weeks and if there's no difference I'll pull them out and plant something else. But yeah, quite glad to have something in the ground. And like I said, this is the new compost bin. Um, and it all goes together quite nicely. I'm glad I didn't cut the sides off because perfect for screwing in. Like I said, there's no screws in yet, um, but it will go in all nicely. So yeah. This frog definitely seems to like it down here. Lots for him to eat down here at the moment. It was quite funny. It reminded me of that scene in um, the first Men in Black, you know, when he knocks the the garage or the shed door and all those cockroaches fall down. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that your auntie? It was like that on this side. I pulled the bit of wood out and just all this big uh, like kind of waterfall of um, wood lice and centipedes and all sorts of creepy crawlies. So yeah, I've got my new little um, draw bits for um, screwing the uh, sort of compost bin together. So yeah, today's job is literally just move all this old composting uh, sort of remnants. I'm going to basically pile it onto these old boards. I'll try and separate it out as much as possible um, with greens and browns. Um, and then mud into a separate bit. Then I'll move the newly built compost bin into place. Um, that's basically today's thing. Oh, and also another reason why the YouTube community is awesome is, you know, I was saying last week, um, I don't know what this is. Well, the uh, general consensus from the YouTube community is that it's a buddlier. Um, and whilst it seems like a little shame, I am going to take it up because I don't really want it there and these things get massive, so it'll just be a massive, um, it'll just take over I think, uh, but I think that's going to be like a quite pretty big job because it's very sort of established in here, um, but yeah, I, I don't want it. Um, I do eventually want lots of flowers here. Um, but I want to sort of choose which flowers and put them in like designated places and stuff like that for the bees. And this lot here seems to be charred, um, which uh, I think it's because it's starting to shoot now. I think that when they're shooting, they're sort of not really any good anymore. Um, but I don't know, I'll leave it in here for now. But yeah, I'll probably just take this up as well. Sort of start fresh and make the whole thing my own and planned in my own design. So, finally, cleared all that space and let me just move around. I'm going to go slowly because the robin's back and that frog is back as well. He's just chilling out down here, not scared of me at all. Where is he? I can't see him. No, there he is. There you go. Um, but yeah, that's how much waste I've got. And I'm actually having a look. And it's not too bad, actually. This um, 
I don't know if it's soil or compost or like it's not quite compost yet but some of the soil that I did dig up from this bed I see there was that like corner angle thing of mud um, that pile and that pile is from there and it's actually quite nice it just breaks up quite nicely so what I'll do is use that for when I'm building raised beds um, I need to get like a sieve thing sieve through it and um, then that'll be ideal stuff I reckon um, problem yeah I definitely need to sieve through it because there's big roots I can't remember what they're called is it bindweed or whatever and I reckon that this stuff will it will break down um, but I think that it's basically just been left there for so long and it hasn't been turned so that's effectively what I'm going to be doing is giving it a turn and sort of kick-starting the process but what's good is it is absolutely full of worms like gigantic worms which is awesome so yeah but it's also full of plastic and bits of metal and that thing right so I've uh, finished my compost bin I'll, uh, there you go didn't take too long actually um, yeah super sturdy so I've done the nails on all the bits um, and it's like that all the way around so yeah this thing isn't going anywhere for a while um, and yeah so I thought I'll um, christen it with banana there you go but yeah, no, I'm super happy with that. That's what I wanted to get done today. Um, this is going to take a little while to sort through. Um, but yeah, some of this stuff I can put right in there. But yeah, it's got... Like, there you go. But yeah, I can um, sort of start my composting thing from scratch um, I'll put some of this in there because this all really needs to go in but I'll layer it up with um, I've got a load of brown stuff over there so I kind of layer it up as I go along but yeah the uh, robins and stuff are having an absolute wear over time I had to move the frog along because I was scared about standing on him but I think he'll probably come back but yeah anyway Cheers for watching. This video is probably going to be a little bit um, kind of put together randomly because I've only recorded random bits at random times um, with no real plan in place. Maybe next weekend I'll um, kind of do something a little bit more, uh, something that makes a little bit more sense anyway. But yeah, anyway, I'm just waffling on. And also my um, broad beans have started um, germinating, which is awesome. I'll uh, put a little video clip of them now, but yeah, call it a day now, cheers for watching, and uh, if you like this video, like it, or dislike it, um, and if you want to watch any more videos coming up in the future, make sure you click on subscribe and comment if you like, what do you think about my composting bin, and uh, yep, cheers, and I'll check in with you next week, bye.